Welcome to Weld.com. Doing a, a, a different type of a series here where we're breaking things down and trying to keep things a little simple. And this whole deal started out as how to come off the bottom with a TIG root, did a TIG fill pass, ran the root in with 8th inch ER70S6, ran the fill pass in with 332 just to get something in there so we wouldn't remelt. And now it's, uh, you know, we've got a decision of how do we finish this out. And so I've opted for shielded metal arc welding, 332, 7018. Now some of you may like to run eighth inch and that's cool, but for control, I like to run, this is four inch schedule 40, so I like to run the 332 in there because what I, what I personally like to do is underfill the bottom slightly overfill the top so we, if we ran a weave or stringer beads in there then we have ourselves room the main thing is we want this tied in laying in there flat so uh, i've got this set up we're going to run off of uh, everlast 200 dv i'm going to run 80 amps and i've got this dig feature turned way down on this machine to probably about 10 percent maybe so in any event uh, here's a little trick for some of you. You know, when I get a, uh, a full rod, if I move just a little bit with the electrode in my hand, then this part out here moves a lot, you know, and I'm getting old and shaky. So, and I've been doing this even when I was a younger man. I like to kind of run these half burnts off the bottom because I feel a little more comfortable. I can get set steady. So I like to run the half burns just to kind of get me up off of this bottom part. And then I feel a little more comfortable up here. I can brace and prop and come on up with it. So uh, I'm gonna grab a hood and gloves. We're gonna throw down and do a little welding. I'm striking arc slightly above what had tied in down there before the first third of the bead. I try to hold a short arc on the sides and let that center take care of itself. Again, bring this up flat, clean. Kind of stay right on the leading edge. One thing I don't do is big a, do a big old U motion. To me, that U motion makes it dig and uh, drip down toward the center. Decent profile for doing. Oh, hello there, Plymouth Event. How you doing, old buddy? Uh, decent profile for doing stringer bead cap. So now I feel a little more comfortable running a, a full length rod. And I would come in here, strike the arc, let the rod get going and tie in right here and then keep going up, fill this thing up. All right, here we go. Depending on what's happening with the pool, sometimes I'll do a kind of like an eyebrow shape or upside down, opposite of what a lot of books. Uh, hmm. 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 Lost power and popped a breaker. So I don't know what happened there. A little popped the breaker on uh, trying to run everything on 110. I didn't realize it was all on uh, same same side, same circuit. I was getting ready to blame it on the camera guy, light him up, but uh, in any event, hey, it happened. Things happened. So we, now we have another restart, and that's okay. Again, strike the arc slightly above, let the rod get going, tie into this. We did it down here, and we were clean. We're going to do it again. If we have a slight bump or it's raised up a little bit, we can obviously go in there and shave that down with a grinder if we need to. 
332.7018. All right, let's keep going here. I'm going to run this up to the top, try to get this good profile going. tuck on the sides make sure that that's laying in there nice and flat doing a transition with my wrist keep that rod angle I'm actually pointing it backwards slightly right now keeps the front of that arc pool clean So I'm almost doing an upside down U right here. And we'll come out of that. <clears throat> Again, don't beat the crap out of your uh, slag if there's no need to. And we're pretty clean, so I don't see any, uh, any problems per se. You know, if I needed to, I could adjust this little transition right here with the grinder but it's uh it's flat tied in i got the profile that i want so i'm underfilled just enough that i could fit subsequent beads in here again we're trying to do quick demos on how to be successful and break things down where it's pretty simple and uh, yeah i hope this helps i hope this is educational please subscribe to the videos and check us out on facebook and instagram thanks for watching weld.com i'm bob moffett with cali college Mike, Mike, you hit the ball well last night. You just well right all the time. Mike, Mike, Mike. Ooh, I hope it happens for me. Oh, you heard that, huh? Todd Clouser can't golf for crap. <laughs>